Well, here's something that I've thrown a banner in the work with the old bow deal. Um, let's talk about it. Hello and welcome to this video. You could like, share and subscribe to the channel. I'd much appreciate it. Liking out the algorithm, sharing gets in front of people's faces and subscribing is free. Uh, it costs you nothing and it just shows me how much support I'm getting on the channel. So I much appreciate it. Here are location bells that you know when videos go live and live streams happen. So as we know that Ugbo's club got relegated Troy's uh, and they're expecting him to leave and he got two years left on his contract. Now, we know that we want to get him in, but we'll have to wait until the Copper America has finished because he is part of the Canadian national squad and he is expected to play a big part in that Canadian team. Now, here's the thing. It's fine for everything to, to go have a look at it. There's us, there's other clubs in Europe that are probably looking at it. MLS, MLS clubs are keen on him as well as a permanent transfer. Now, the rules in the MLS decree that players to have to come through listed academy systems in either the US or Canada do not count as international players. Now, Ontario-based Woodbridge Stryker, who Ugbo, Ugbo, Ugbo played as a child for, would go through the Canadian-approved youth clubs. Now, this is coming from the start. Uh, it told despite the short period that he played for such a young age, this means that Ugbo would not take up one of the 233 international roster slots that are divided among the 29 clubs. These slots can be traded between clubs, making these homegrown players especially attracted to some of the traditional smaller clubs in the league. It's highly likely, however, that Ugbo would command a salary that would take him into the designated player territory, of which clubs can have only three per squad. Now, we massively want a striker in this summer, and ideally, we want Ugbo. That's what we want. But that these kind of thing throw big uh, banners into the work because here's the thing: if he's got a situation where he wants to go back to where he was pretty much brought up and say then they still got family there, that's a big pull for someone who's been in France and he played twice in England, then he played in Wales most a bit of last season as well. If there is a family situation there and that's a pull. That'll be interesting. Now, I don't know what transfer fee they will be able to pay or what wages they will be able to pay. You would hope that when they are better in the transfer fee and the wages. Uh, but it does throw an interesting point into uh, Wednesday's situation. And you want us to be able to go, right, we're going to get you in, get you thought. You already know Danny. You already know the uh, training staff. You were here to see what was going on with uh, the club itself. You were part of that. So you, you don't have to sell the club. That's what I'm basically saying. You do not have to sell the club at all to um, Oh well, He's already there. In his head, he already knows where he wants to be. He liked it here in one sense. But it all depends if he wants to suddenly leave and say, hey, I'm leaving this Brent club to go to a Canadian club or MLS club. I get the want to go over there. Now, at 25, he could get probably a decent wage over there kind of thing. He could be go down as one of the bigger players and look really good. Now, would he want to take championship football over MLS? Not sure. If I'm a player, the MLS is not the same as it used to be. It's a lot better what in a in a sense. Uh, you look at us with Duncan Maguire. Can you imagine if it's bloody Orlando and they get Ugbo as a replacement for Duncan Maguire? Oh my God, that would be just our luck. And then we don't get Duncan Maguire. Just thinking of that now, that sounds like something we could we would probably do. And that would probably be our kind of thing. He goes elsewhere and the striker we want goes there. Oh, <laughs> my brain hurt from just thinking of that idea. Uh, hopefully that doesn't happen. Let, let's just 
put that to the side to one minute. Let's hope that doesn't happen and that's not the case and we can either get one or both of them. But that in my head is something I just thought of. But I'd be interested to see where this one goes. We know that you're going to be in the Copa America and I think as fan base, we should have a see how he gets on. Make sure he doesn't get injured. Uh, make sure that he has a good competition. And the thing is, a good competition can also equal bad news for us because it'll add a couple of zeros onto a transfer fee. You know that that's the problem with an uh, international tournament happening during a transfer window. You have so many situations that could change everything. And that that is something that I always hate when there's an international tournament and there's a transfer window. Everything is a little bit harder, especially if you've got players who are playing in said tournaments. Like with this, we're not be going to be able to speak to them until after Cop America's finished. And how long Cop America? Let me have a look. When does it finish? Right, they've got Argentina starting with on 21st of June. And there, they finish on the 15th of July. Uh, so that that starts the same. So it's around the same time, nearly as uh, the Euro, because the Euro start on the 14th. But you see, see what I mean? 21st, and it'll be the 15th of July before we can do anything in terms of trying to get him in. And that's all depends if they go through. If they go through to quarters or semi-finals, it could be even early, like the 10th or 6th of July. By that time, I would hazard a guess that we're on pre-season tour. So you would have to get it done, him fly over to where we're training. If it's in England at that point, then great, and go from there. But I don't know, it's one of the ones you think about and go, ah, that's something we haven't thought about at all. And again, it's not a place you would expect to go, this could be an issue for us, for uh, the MLS. And... Let's see what happens when it comes to it. But MLS is one of those ones where you look at it and you go, that's somewhere you didn't think of. We are looking at Duncan Maguire from the MLS. We didn't think of a player we're looking at going to the MLS. That's the, something that your brain never always thinks thinks of. And there have been a couple of players who recently have gone there at a young age. I believe the uh, Nottingham Forest, but striker Sam Sturridge, I think that's his name, went to Austin FC. And I think he was only like 25 when he went. Uh, so there is there is that aspect to it. Is it Sam Sturridge? I could be wrong. Because I'm pretty sure he's 25 and playing at, sorry, playing at Nashville. He's at Nashville at 25. And that's the kind of transfer you go, wow, you wouldn't have thought of him going there. Uh, done, he's done quite well, actually, while he's been out there, by the looks of it. Uh, 13 appearances of five goals, that's not bad. But yeah, they think like that you don't think of. So something to think of and bear in mind that it could be a curveball for Ugbo.